Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Guys, today's finally the day, well, hopefully the day, that EA brings some hype back to FC24 with future stars. There's a lot of anticipation building up to this promo because it's just a fun one where we take young prodigies and give them big boosts and insane cards to kind of think about what they could be in the future if their career path pans out to how hyped they are. That's the whole point of Future Stars. Now, will EA give these cards good boosts? Will they give us good SPCs, objectives, and maybe even evolutions to get excited about as well? That's what we're going to talk about today, guys, with the promo, and of course, cover everything related to this game that you need to be ready for on a promo Friday of Future Stars. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Let's quickly start off with yesterday's pretty quiet yesterday of content on this game on Thursday. The coolest thing that we had was the showdown SBC for the AFCON final. Samuel Chukweze with Nigeria versus Ibrahim Sangare and Ivory Coast. It's going to be a good final, and these SBCs are not that bad, especially if you want to have some skin in the game, if you will, for either of these uh, nations to go for the AFCON Cup final. Uh, both these cards are solid. Now, one of them is a little bit cheaper than the other, and that is Chukweze. I think he's one of the favorites. I mean, it's not an amazing card by any means. It's a Sangare card, but it's very solid, especially because the winner of this final will get a plus two boost applied to their card. And this final, I believe, is on Sunday. It's a couple days away. So you have a couple days to get this SBC done. And again, it's a plus two. So Chukweze goes to an 89. Sangare goes to an 89 as well. I doubt EA would add a skill move or a weak foot. I would love them to add a playstyle plus. That would be really, really sick. But I mean, they didn't put up any sort of message in game. To say anything different, so I think it's just going to be a plus two overall upgrade. Chukwese's card is pretty nice, four star, four star, uh, really good dribbling. His play styles are decent, right? Play style plus with quick step is pretty good. He's got finesse shot as well. And Chukwese is coming in as probably the more popular SBC at 81,000 coins. Now, Sangare looks more like maybe a center back than a center defensive mid. If you look at the stats in his card, he looks pretty meta. I mean, if they get a win and goes to 89 rated, you're looking at a really, really good center defensive mid or a center back card, and he's only about 115,000 coins to do. I say only. I think that card on the market would be cheaper, but you're paying for the potential upgrade as well inside of that SBC set. So that's kind of the situation with the showdown. A uh, couple days to do that if you'd like to do that and get it done. And also we have marquee matchups, which I heard for the matchup Villa versus United. I heard that there were some United cards that were going up on the market. Look at these matchups that we have this weekend. It's going to be a great weekend of football. PSG Lille, Leverkusen versus Bayern Munich, Roma Inter, Big games upcome this weekend, and that's just a few, right? So that's an exciting weekend of football ahead, but we're hoping to get excited for also the content that is going to come out on this game today in Future Stars, and that's really what yesterday on Thursday was. It was a lot more leaks and a lot more news and info about this promo. We even have some official stats of the Future Stars that are coming today. Let's talk about it, right? Here are all the Future Stars cards. I'll say all. These are some of the Future Stars cards. It's just nice to be all in one graphic. All of the leagues that we have of players that we expect to be coming today or at some point during this first team. Now, one thing I will say is with all of these leaked cards, these are predicted stats. We're going to look at some official stats here in a second. These are also cards that could be a part of Team 2 if this is going to be a two-week promo. It's been a two-week promo in the, in the past. And with the number of icons that we have leaked, there's a lot of icons. It makes me personally feel like we might see some of those icons next week in a week too. We'll just have to see. But some of the newer names um, are Rooney, Roberto Carlos, uh, Seedorf, I believe is a new name, Rykard, I think we talked about yesterday. Pedro Neto was leaked. We have an official card with stats for Rodman as well. Um, and then there's a couple other cards that have been leaked that are not on this graphic. Uh, but looking at this team, guys, uh, especially looking at the Rodman card, I want to talk about that first of all. This was officially tweeted by EA. These are her official stats. And you notice the first thing about her card is two play style pluses. Quick Step and the Energizer Battery Relentless Plus. Not bad. Not insane, but two playstyle pluses is a must. It is a must for most of these cards. Now, I can imagine that for some of the lower rated ones, maybe Bissek, maybe Pablo Barrios, right? You're going to have in a promo team, you're really expensive, really meta top tier ones. That's probably going to be Doku, probably going to be Garnacho, Cold Palmer, Harvey Elliott, right? But then some of the other cards are going to be lower rated, cheaper, easier to pack. Those cards might be the ones that have just one playstyle plus. But the fact that Rodman is 88 with two playstyle pluses, that gives me a little bit of hope because that should be around the middle tier. Like if you look at road to the finals, I mean, 
88 is kind of the middle rating. You've got 90s, 91s, a lot of 90s, and a couple of 88s, 89s, and a few 87s. Like, that gives me a little bit of hope that maybe half of these cards getting dropped today will have two playstyle pluses, and that could bring some hype to the game. It's going to come down to the boost and the playstyle pluses to see how hype these cards really are, um, and that's going to kind of determine a lot of the hype today. Some of the other league players that we have are Endo, not the Endo from Liverpool, right? He's 30 years old. We found out yesterday on stream. We were like, oh, Endo. Oh, not that Liverpool Endo. NWSL Endo. There's actually a decent amount of NWSL cards that are leaked to be coming. Gurma is another future stars from NWSL. And then Lemuel as a center defensive mid from D1 Arkema. So plenty of women's players in this promo. Um, and then, of course, we had a couple of objective and SBC leaks. Claudia Pena, which I remember looking at her card in game and being like, wow, whenever she gets a boosted item, it's going to be insane with the play styles that she has, with the um, stats that she, she has as well. I think she might be either 4-star, four 4-star, four or 4-star, four 5-star. And this is coming as either an SBC or an objective, according to Foot Sheriff. Stats are predicted for her card. And then another SBC objective leak we have is Magasa as a silver base center defensive mid in the league one right this is the kind of cards that you look for with this are like could this be you know like we had bakayoko we've had some really beast kind of like younger players that have come out of these promos and then they've got they've gotten better in real life but then they kind of also just get overpowered in a fifa sense and in a fc sense as well i'm, I'm looking for some of that in today's promo card release as well but guys one thing i have to say about this team is if we're going to take a look at some of these official stats, like we have here for Garnacho, we don't know the playstyle pluses for the Garnacho card, but this is the official stats on Garnacho. I want to look at some of the upgrades that we're getting from other informs because it's all about the playstyle pluses, but it's also about the stats on the card too. And this this card looks pretty good. Like that's a good card. And that's the official dynamic image, I think, as well. Maybe it's just the stats of the official for this card. But 94 pace, 91 dribbling, 85 shooting, and 84 passing. That's a solid upgrade. It's not a crazy upgrade from his inform, but it's a good one. This Garnacho is going to be expensive. If I had to throw a price out there, which it does depend on the playstyle pluses, and maybe a weak foot skill move upgrade as well. Like, if he's completely juiced with these stats... I'm going to have to say it's going to be a couple mil, man. You know how the packway goes. He's going to be one of the marquee players in this promo. And a lot of people are excited for this Garnacho today. Like two, two and a half mil, maybe more than that. I mean, Rafael Leao is the most expensive card in our last promo. And, and yes, those are live cards, but he's three and a half million coins. We know that this market will pay big bucks for a really exciting card right now because of how the prices are on the top tier most meta. So for this Garnacho card, I'm saying two mil plus, maybe even two and a half or three. For those stats right there maybe it's not worth that but with the hype of this game and depending on how rare these cards are he could be that now here's one that i'm i'm a little disappointed in i can't lie doku is 89 these are the official stats play style and the dynamic for his card decent dynamic rapid plus and trickster plus for doku and the reason why i'm a little disappointed is because yes the pace and yes the dribbling are fantastic like it's not a bad card it is a good card but if you compare it to his winter wild cards, right? Only a few of these guys have had promo cards so far this year. Doku is one of them. You're you're getting a pretty pretty mid upgrade, guys, to be honest. I mean, you're going from 86 to 89 overall, so plus 3 overall, but you're getting plus 1 shooting. You're getting plus 2 shoot uh, sorry, plus plus 1 pace, plus 2 shooting, plus 2 passing, and you get plus 3 dribbling and 3 physical, 4 physical. Um, and then Trickster Plus. So if they're giving him Trickster Plus, I hope they're also giving him five-star skills. His base card here is, or his Winter Wild cards is four-star, three-star. So hopefully it's like five-star, four-star for a guy like Doku, especially with the Trickster Plus being added. And they're switching out his Quick Step for Rapid Plus, which some people may think might be an L because I'm sure he has Explosive. Yeah, mostly Explosive Accelerate. Um, so that'll be really interesting to have Rapid on his card. He'll still be good. But like this one to me is like, Okay, EA, we've seen the upgrade here for the Rodman card. It's decent. It's not amazing. The playstyle pluses, yes, there's two of them. Okay. Doku, mm, just looks okay. Garnacho, compared to his inform, it's a decent upgrade. A little bit better than Doku, in my opinion, but it comes down to the playstyle pluses. If they're not going to juice these cards today, guys, and they're not going to make them super crazy, then they better make them super packable. That's what I had to say. It's going to come down to the upgrades, as it always does, but this week, really, it's going to come down to the stat upgrades and how consistent and how good they are. And it's going to come down to the pack weight, guys. Because if EA puts out these cards that people want to try, because again, the whole point of this promo is to play with players that don't often get special cards or players 
that people have been looking forward to seeing in this type of promo for a long time. If people are let down today because the pack weight is once again ridiculously difficult, it's ridiculously hard to pack these cards, then I think we're going to have some problems, right? I think there's going to be some issues with the hype of this promo. Now, the other thing I want to talk about here is a little bit more of the icon leaks because guys we, we looked at Seedorf, we looked at maldini we have ronaldinho's coming into packs today right but there's a lot of like middle to lower middle to lower tier icons right i say like icons that are probably not going to be as expensive it makes me feel like we're going to have kind of like a i know trophy titans last year we had two different versions of the icons but in these promos like winter wild cards is a great example we had a lot of icons that were kind of on the lower tier think about like barnes Rikelme, some of those guys that from store packs maybe you opened or saw opened like those were the cards that were packed a ton icons are like 30 40 50 60 000 coins when i look at the icons that are leaked i'm seeing a lot of that i'm seeing a lot of cheap icons come into this game if the the if the boosts are even similar to what we're seeing here. Seedorf, that's a cool card, right? If you're a, a Dutch fan, if you want to get a Seedorf from your team, that's a cool card. He's not going to be that expensive, I don't think. On, uh, on we go to Petit, right? Petit, if he doesn't have 80 pace, if he's not Hullet Gang at this stage of the game, that's going to be a little bit underwhelming as well. We'll, again, just have to see how the cards look in game. Roberto Carlos, that's a big one. He's going to be expensive. Crespo, right? Did, was it Crespo that had a Dynasties card? He, I thought he had an Icon card dropped earlier this year. Maybe I'm confusing that with like Larson or somebody. But um, this Crespo card is probably going to be pretty cheap. Let's be completely honest. And same thing with, I just saw leaked as well, a Shevchenko. Those cards to me, along with the ones that we already have leaked, like Gerard and like Rykard, yeah, they will be cool for sure, but I just think they're going to be kind of cheap, which might actually be nice. But again, EA, we got to get some upgrades on those cards and we got to make them look nice. So it comes down to the playstyle pluses today. It comes down to the stat boost, the weak foot, the skill move upgrades for sure. And I hope that EA surprises. Please, EA, make these cards packable. Bring some hype back to this game. Now, one of the cards, let's move into the kind of the rest of the content. We'll talk about SBCs, talk about objectives, talk about the evolutions, because if the content in packs and the stuff in packs is not packable, like it's been for the last couple of weeks and all these previous promos that we've had, can the SBC content carry this game today? Now, there's a few rumors. There's no official leaks. We looked at Claudia Pena, right? She was a SBC slash objective player. That could be dropped today. But there's also a rumor that Pedro Neto might be an SBC player that's coming today. And that could be kind of crazy. That could be pretty good. Again, depends on the upgrade. I mean, what we've seen recently is the SBCs for players. Like last week, we had Lautaro Martinez. Um, he was two playstyle pluses. That was a pretty solid SBC that we had last week. Um, I'm forgetting who we had on Friday. Did I do the SBC? Uh, oh, yeah. Duh. Kimmich. Absolutely, I did the SBC. We had Kimmich and we had uh, Lautaro Martinez, both two playstyle plus cards and SBCs. I'm hoping that whoever is dropped today, if it is Pedro Neto, if it's Claudia Pena from the women's Barca team, I hope that they have two playstyle pluses and they're continuing that trend. It kind of needs to, right? That's the way this game is pushing. And a Pedro Neto could be pretty hyped because, yes, he's a young star, but also in an ultimate team sense this year, he's got a pretty hyped card because of Evos. If you think about it, like Evos kind of put him, uh, apart from maybe some people using him in the first week of the game as a decent starter card. I mean, four star, four star. Everybody did that Centurion's Evo for Neto. He's got right side, left side, and striker positions on his card. He's got quick step and rapid, but you add some play styles to that, maybe boost him to five star skills, give him a sick dynamic image and like 90 something pace. This could be a really nice card. So I have high hopes, if that's the SBC, that it could be good. And that could cause a little bit of panic on the market, especially for Premier League attackers, strikers, right wing, left wing. That would hit a lot of different bases that people would want to do that SBC and put that card into their team. So we'll be watching out for that today too. Other SBC content, because there's actually some of the upgrade packs that we already have on the game refreshing today one of those being the 86 plus kind of scam pain player pick as we called it early on earlier on during the week yeah guys if you want to get this done it's an 84 and 85 squad if you saved it 83 times 10 or something or two of them maybe all three from yesterday like i did you'll be able to get that done pretty easy if you want to 83 times 10 however is going away that's gone but the 85 plus player pick is coming back and that's that and the 82 plus upgrade ea is kind of being sneaky here they're leaving some upgrade packs out that will able be able to rinse today if you have packs that you have, are opening store packs or if you're opening any saved packs you'll be able to put some gold commons and not 
commons and rares into these upgrade packs or of course the fodder you get from those save packs into an 85 plus player pick um, to go ahead and get that done so that's interesting that ea is doing that although those upgrades especially the 82 pluses are not that good last call as well for the exchange sbcs i don't see a reason why ea would refresh these although it would be so nice to have these continually in the game i did an 89 overall duplicate exchange just because i wanted to, to save it and do it so i've got a couple of packs saved today but that's kind of the sbc content that we are expecting now let's talk about fodder in relation to sbcs a little bit because i know um there's not like an icon pick that's refreshing today i think the icon pick refreshes tomorrow and saturday if i got my math right if the icon pick is refreshing today that'll be pretty interesting i think it refreshed last on wednesday um and yeah it was wednesday and it didn't make fodder move that much so i think it's going to be on saturday again but yeah guys fodder is starting to dip down a bit 88s are kind of going south of 30k right now 29,000 coins for a few that you see there you got 90s under 60,000 coins it's just kind of slowly starting to drop when it comes to fodder today guys it really depends on the store i mean with those sbcs that are refreshing yeah it could move some things a little bit nothing massive unless ea have some plans up their sleeve today and i want to talk about that with evolutions in a second if ea have some plans up their sleeve and sbcs as well that could make some fodder move but it's going to be one of those situations where we just kind of see how it is when they actually drop it. But for the fodder supply today, it comes down to lightning rounds, man. And the past, honestly, what, two, three weeks now, EA has not been running the best lightning round packs that they could. Watch out for, again, the 85 times 7 that we saw during the beginning of Team of the Year, the 84 times 10 packs, the 85 times 10 pack that was added to the code earlier on this week. That could hurt fodder a lot if it is dropped as a lightning round because that's also the type of pack that people who spend FC points in this game look at and say, whoa, that might be worth doing. It's tradable and it's an 84 plus times 10. This deluxe 86 doesn't hit that different, right? For a lot of these icebreaker packs, doesn't hit that different. So that's one thing you have to watch out for today is if we get really good lightning rounds, we'll see right away on stream when we see the ones that we get, then we'll know how much fodder is going to drop. Last Friday, fodder barely dropped because we didn't have good tradable lightning rounds that a lot of people wanted to open. But Believe me, today there will be people wanting to open packs. Garnacho, Dino, Rooney. The juice is there to sell packs. So we'll see if EA wants to make some money today because we'll see what lightning rounds they drop. Now, one quick shout too about the informs. How much are informs right now? Informs, I think they're maybe down a little bit, which is which makes sense. I'm sure people are starting to sell them off a little bit. Yeah, I think they were 25. Yeah, now they're about 23 to 24,000 coins. It would make sense to me for informs to be dropping today on this game because the 83 times 10 is expiring. Um, and that's a lot of your inform demand. Remember, remember that was the SBC that made informs go up a lot. So I would not be holding on to informs. Uh, again, you'd be, just be hoping that something would come out today that would make them go up if you're invested there, which I think the chances of that are a little bit slim. Now, in objectives, I mean, I would 100% assume that we are getting an objective player today. One thing that's interesting about it is the season is ending next Thursday. So if they drop it in the live tab, that means that that objective would be going away on Thursday. It'd be going away at Rivals Rewards. So maybe today we should check the Milestones tab, just kind of a heads up to look there today at content instead of the live just because if EA wanted to be out for that extra day, or maybe during the entirety of Future Stars, they might put it in a different tab or a different section, or they might have a whole different objectives tab altogether today. Let's talk about the Future Stars Academy and Evolutions, guys, because we had that loading screen that we saw on the way into the video, right? Today, they promote again on the loading screen the fact that we are getting a Future Stars Evolution, and they actually counted it down to content today this is the loading screen once again it's the exact same as the other car designs that we see for the icon and the regular future stars design but it shows the academy words at the top and then the evo car design so it seems like future stars academy is going to be somehow connected with objectives and the evolutions I'm not entirely sure how it's going to work but remember those packs that we talked about in yesterday's video about the attacker and defender right they updated the wording on those packs now it's a lot more clear what this is going to be the future stars academy attackers pack contains nine attacking options for the future stars academy attacker evo okay ea thank you for the knowledge that we are getting an attacker evo and defender evo based off these pack codes so there's a pack of nine attackers and a pack of 11 defenders now some people are wondering is this a pack is it a player pick it's a pack but it couldn't be a player pick inside of it right remember how like the team of the year 12th man voting was where it was a pack that you opened and then a player pick opened up so i don't know if it's a player pick between 
nine different players or 11 different players that'd be like the longest player pick ever that'd be kind of crazy to see on your screen like 11 different items pop up or i don't know how that would work out or it's maybe just a pack with all nine or all 11 players in it that you could then go and turn to into an evolution and since that countdown on the screen counts down towards content today i think there's a 100 percent chance that we are getting one if not both of those evos in the evolution section today which could be really cool so it's all going to come down to how good the upgrades are how many options we have to evolve players because again whenever we have limited options to evolve players i think a lot of us just feel kind of like put into a box right you're like okay ea this is the little bit box of players that i have to evolve and i can't go outside of that um but maybe they're going to do something really cool with this so i'm i'm excited for this for the academy because future stars academy as we talked about yesterday is always a w i hope the way they're doing it this year is also a w because it looks like they're involving evolutions so watch out for that today that's a big part of content that i think could make or break the hype of this promo and that's completely regardless of what would be happening with this stuff in packs now speaking of this pack code we got to look at a couple things in here too. Remember all the free 500k pack, all that jazz from like winter wild cards? Well, we've got some of those packs that have been refreshed in the code and with new words. That would be one way EA could try to get us excited about the game today would be giving out free packs. Again, the ultimate supporter pack. You're seeing this pack because you've entered ultimate team at least 30 days and it includes two different promo cards from Trailblazer, Centurions, Triple Thread, FC Pro Live, or Thunderstruck. 85 rated or higher and also it, it includes some gold cards too so like if they're giving out free packs today if we're actually going to see these packs added to the game and since they've been updated in terms of pack code i have to say there's a chance i know that we saw them before and nothing ever happened but maybe today there's a chance of that guys i don't know the fact that they're in this pack code like i feel like there's a potential for that today and, and that could be interesting now it's an untradeable pack for sure they're not going to give out i don't think tradable trailblazers i'm assuming at the bottom of this text that it says all items untradeable because that would destroy trailblazer thunderstruck all those prices on the market i don't know if ea wants to do that unless that is their entire goal with this but i doubt it um yeah we'll have to see if those get dropped today in this game really unsure about that but that could be something that uh, ea tries to do to of course bring some hype back to this game now also remember if you want to try to stock up on a couple of silver packs a couple of like common gold packs since a lot of the players that are in this promo team are silver or non-rare gold base you can technically have a chance of packing them in there i don't know if we have anybody that's a bronze base some people are talking about saving bronze packs um it's not likely that you hit one i'm just saying it's possible that you could pack a promo card out of a silver or a gold pack today because of the base cards of some of those players dropping in the game now all of that content wise we kind of wrapped up what's coming out we talked about it let's talk about the market right let's talk about prices in this game today now of course the future stars and those cards it all comes out of the pack weight they're going to be in demand so we'll be able to trade with future stars cards today i keep going over to the this tab here to try to find the card design and it's not there we'll be able to trade with those they will be hyped garnacho doku cold palmer all those cards there's going to be a significant amount of hype for them today it all comes down to the pack weight but for road to the finals right i know a lot of us have invested we're enjoying seeing the prices rise what is going to happen with these today right what is going to happen with these cards if you bought at a very low price what i would tell you to do is just keep holding strong because as of right now these cards are incredibly rare so few people opened packs last week i know these cards do seem very expensive but i would just be holding if you got in like last weekend like saturday sunday monday tuesday before the prices really started to rocket up and upwards i would just keep holding there was really no dip i was hoping for a dip yesterday on these cards but the leaks and the hype wasn't enough before the promo actually started to create a dip there still could be an opportunity to buy these today and this is going to be a place on the market where i will be trying to watch very closely after the content drop today because these are still live cards and people love live cards and these are rare live cards which makes them even better i know they're expensive some of them are but we're going to keep an eye on some of these today like if we get pedro Neto, that might impact some of the strikers some of the right wings left wings maybe tella gonzalez uh leon bailey maybe even a card like guru Richen could be impacted a little bit on that middle to lower tier if we get a really good pedro Neto. that's the sort of thing you can think about today so watch these cards for drops and when i mean drops like i'm only going to be interested in buying them if they have like kind of significant drops like prices that they were on like wednesday like what was what was sule on wednesday right what was he like 250 still 
Yeah, okay, he was 270 by the time we got to Wednesday. On Tuesday, he was 250, though. Yeah, 256. So, like, if this card went back down to, like, yeah, probably 270, that would be a price that I would be interested to buy, 275. Like, that's a pretty significant drop. That's more than, that's about, like, what? That'd be a 10% drop from 300K. So, I want to see 10% drops on these cards. It has to be good content, though, for that really to happen. And there has to be something to make people panic sell these, which is probably not that likely. So, if you see drops in these cards that are, semi-decent you might have to just get it involved um, unless the content and the future stars are like absolutely amazing and it's like oh my goodness future stars just saved this game and we're actually really excited for it then maybe hold off and you want to see big drops but we're going to watch those cards very closely today and the one thing maybe i'm slightly worried about with the rest of the market is if these cards that come out today are juiced semi-decent if they are Two playstyle pluses for most of them. I worry about some of the more recent cards that are in that under 200,000 coin range because people that just want to go out and try new cards might look at these and be like, yo, I could go try a new French center back with pretty good stats for, let's say this guy's like 50K. Like, okay, would that hurt Kim Min Jae with the Bundesliga and the French links? Kim Min Jae being very hyped because of the... the the Bundesliga links right now, more particularly the Bayern Munich links, which Lukiba wouldn't have. But you know what I'm saying? Bissek as well. A couple of really good center backs coming today if they're both dropped in packs. You know, that sort of thing could happen, but it's going to have to be these cards. The new ones would be have to be cheap and they'd have to be supplied. So, I mean, the market in total, I don't think is going to crash today. Um, I would just be a little bit worried about maybe some of the winter wild card icons too. Because again, when you have new cheap icons that come out, especially if some of the really... Uh, good, like even the middle to lower tier ones from the future stars icons that dropped today. Um, like if they have good playstyle pluses or two playstyle pluses, I think that some of these like Barnes, um, you know, Barnes and Raquel may are probably the best options. Maybe this Owen card. I know they're not that expensive to begin with. Maybe Bird Camp as well. I know some of them have position changes that makes that makes them more interesting. But some of these middle to lower tier icons, I I think there could be a little bit of a hit on those because new ones, cooler ones could be dropping today. We'll just have to see, right? It comes down to a lot of the pack weight and all that good stuff. But I'm hoping, guys. I'm hoping that EA drops a banger of a day today. We all want something to be excited about on this game, right? We've had Team of the Year, which got us down. Road to the Final has been a break period. If they want to bring it back up, today's the day to do it. EA, do the business today. Get us excited for this game again, because as of right now, it is still kind of mudded on this game. So we're hoping that they will do that today, guys. If you're excited for it today, drop a thumbs up on the video. Comment down below if you have any questions. And of course, subscribe if you're new. I will see you guys in the Twitch stream today. That link is down below in the description. It's been Nathan for Count. See you guys there. Peace. Out.